Christian into yeah. atheist doesn't matter if he's a good person who have no problem with you and your religion mm. make way for okay. him. Does the hadith say that? Yes. Sir. No, it doesn't. No, absolutely doesn't. Yeah, it the hadith doesn't makes it clear that if you go past a Christian, I think it's either a Christian or a Jew, you are to push them to the side of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In England, you used yeah. to have a shower yeah. only on Christmas. Okay. What? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Islam tell you to have a shower every week. Oh, great. At you least once I mean. a week. <laughs> yeah. Even though Allah said fight the Jews and Christians, but this didn't happen really. No Jews, no Jewish and Christian were so, killed. So, so Muslims went Muslims all the way from killed. Saudi Arabia to the Middle East to North Africa to Spain to France, and they just did it peacefully. They just casually walked across, like. Yeah, I leave yeah, you yeah. to your religion. Yeah. But so it's see, not about your religion. See, we have a word for what that's called. Yeah, that's called intimidation. No, no, it's not. If I if I said to you, look, 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 I'm gonna fight you, but if you give me money, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Listen, listen. That's called intimidation. So is Christianity against uh, against uh, underage, underage? Pre-pubescent, yeah. You have not achieved puberty. Have not uh, been on their menstrual cycle, yeah. I would I would challenge you to show me a scripture that that, in other, that contradicts what I just said. But in, in Islam, in the Quran, I can find a very clear verse that, that tells you quite clearly that yes, you can have sex with pre-pubescent girls. My friend, my friend. Look, I wanna, I wanna know. We'll talk about this later. But I well, I, I kind of like this topic. I, I want to go into after, this a bit maybe more. Maybe after. No, well, no. we can talk about Christianity and what Christianity no, no. thinks about this. Yeah. We were, earlier, we were talking about defending. Okay, defending, defending. what? Defending. Yeah. Like, would, like I okay, said, wait, you, wait. Know, let's, you, let's, you said to me. You I'm said gonna get. To uh, me, I'm gonna get some Bible verses out because I want you to know this, so that when we talk about it. I'm going to get some Bible verses out, because I want you to see this, yeah? So you can know, and then you, we can talk about it, and you can understand what I mean when I say that Jesus condemns anything like having sex with a child. Let me show you. No, no. Let's It'll take two first. seconds just to go through the verse, and then you'll know oh, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, show yeah, yeah, me, yeah. Show Okay, yeah, show all right. Me. So let me give you an example. Yeah, yeah. So in Mark chapter 5, yep, and I'm looking around 42. Actually, look at 41. Now, in this context, he's just healed a, a female girl. Okay. Okay? Now, we get clues in the text as her age. Listen to this. He took her by the hand and said to her, and it says something in Greek that I'm not going to try and pronounce, which means, little girl... Uh, what does it say there? Get up. So said to get up. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. Okay, all right. But he referred to her as little girl. He didn't say woman, he said little girl. Okay. Where, yeah. where, where does the marriage come in here? No, no, no. What I'm talking about is how did Jesus see females who were the age of 12? He viewed them as My little friend, girls. This doesn't prove anything no, what about he, our what, topic. What I'm saying is Jesus himself, who saw a girl at the age of 12, raised her from the dead and called her little girl. Okay. Where is, well, let's say... This is Mark chapter 5. Where is tw the age 12? Where is there we go. She was 12 years old. Okay, but that's between brackets. Okay. Well, I'll have a check. He because said little girl. I'd, yeah, okay. I'll have a check to see if that's in the Greek. If it isn't in the Greek, then fair enough. But I've actually looked at the word little in Greek, but and that does have a connotation friend, of a child. You can't use what's between the bracket against no, 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 us. I, I'm making two you can't arguments. Use it. Let, you let have me, to be fair wait, wait. here. First of all, the Bible and the way that the Bible is structured is not the same as it is in the Quran. In the Quran, anything in parentheses isn't actually in the Arabic. That's not necessarily the case with the Bible. Second, there's another reason why I think this is uh, effective and shows that it's a little girl. It's because the, the Greek word uh, for the, okay, the Greek word okay, used little girl. for little okay, let's say, means okay, child. Let's, let's, say, let's say Jesus said That's, to her, yeah. little girl. Okay. okay, what does that mean then? It shows that Jesus did not think a 12 year old was a woman. It shows that he thought a 12 year old was but a you little could, girl. You could even say about a woman, little girl. No, no, because no, when I talk to Muslims about this, and I talk about uh, Surah Al Talaq, Surah 65, Ayah 4, it says very, it's, a lot of Muslims go, no, 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 the even, Arabic even means woman. Very, very old women, mm -hmm. if you say to them girls, they, yeah. somehow they like it, you know, it's being polite to them. Little You're being girl. nice to them. No, no, I, no, no I, can't say, I can't say to a woman, little girl. That's offensive. No, no, to women. no, 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 not yeah. little. 
girls, all the ladies. Yeah, but he said little girl. How are you, girls? For example, the, the Greek here is little okay, girl. Friend, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Let's move but on. do you Listen. understand now why Christians I, have no, an example? No, I don't understand. No. Why? Why? No, no. I've clearly what, showed you. What this. you brought here doesn't am, mean anything. I am demonstrating that a twelve-year-old is not considered a little girl but, in the perspective of Jesus Christ. You can't. You can't. Oh, sorry, a twelve-year-old is considered rules a little girl, not this. a woman. You can't create yeah. rules out. That's not rules. That's, that's just reading no, no, that you're, there was a twelve-year-old girl. What you're saying is just because just because Jesus said to a girl, little girl, right, who was the age of twelve? That means you can't marry her and you can't. She can't walk this way and she can't go there no okay so now the burden of proof is on you to demonstrate that Jesus thought you could have sex with little girls marrying underage girls it right. was right let me say something yeah, yeah, but, 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 let me speak all right, all right, let, cool. me speak. Go on, let you speak marrying underage girls mm -hmm. what is considered to, today to be underage girls mm -hmm. In, in Jesus' time was right. 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 Right? Yeah. Was right. Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. I can okay. say that. Yeah, yeah. Why he didn't condemn it or say anything about it? Okay, you, that is a very bad principle to say because Jesus didn't, didn't speak about it. He didn't say anything things. about it. Wait, wait Jesus didn't like talk about it. Like you, now no. you're condemning no, 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 no. it. Okay. Mohammed didn't speak about everything, yes? It would be it would be unreasonable of me to say to find something that Mohammed doesn't talk about and say why didn't Mohammed condemn it? My friend, do you my understand friend, the principle? My, simple, my, yep. my question is very, very, very simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus knew about this. He saw it. Even his right. mother was was a child prize. Right. right. So he didn't say he didn't he didn't condemn it. He didn't say he kept quiet about it. Why right. you talk? There are many things that Jesus could have condemned, yes. Listen, but listen, listen. Listen, no, no, the Gospels are clear. There are other My things in the Gospels why, that are not recorded. Why, was it bad? Yeah. Was it bad? What, to it, marry underage girls? Yes. Was it bad? Yes. Okay. Why the Quran affirms that. That, that, that you can marry a girl. Jesus, well, I know, but Chris, I want to show you. About Jesus. Okay, that's Forget fine. the Quran. Uh, okay, but I want you to see the I problem. I want to you to yeah. make me understand right. how Jesus did not say anything about it. Right. Jesus didn't mention about a lot of things, did he? Right. My because the Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah. If your mm. boss yeah. is all right with something, mm. why would you have a problem against it? Right. I don't assume my boss has to mention every single opinion he has about everything. So, that is so, an unreasonable so you, assumption. So you that you don't have. follow him then? No. Th look, look, look. <laughs> you can follow someone's teachings listen, listen. and still use principles listen. to derive other your actions boss, as you're moral walking, or You're immoral. walking with your boss, for example. Okay. A ma your boss saw a man throwing rubbish to the ground, litter to the ground. Okay, okay. Yep. That's wrong, is it? No, well, right, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. No, I'm Let agreeing. me finish. Okay, Let me finish. Okay, I'm agreeing. Let me finish. Right, right. He didn't say anything about it. Okay. But his actions tell me through his behavior how I'm to act, if he is my moral example, yes? How do you know? How right? do you know he's against that? How do you know? Because he has actively done littering, yeah? So he no, has no, set listen, an example, listen, so listen, he's saying listen, you should listen. litter. You take your morals from him. We, right. Look, we shouldn't dwell on okay, this. Okay, but I take We're my morals from much. Jesus Christ. We're going about this for too long. Okay, okay. We have other issue, issues to talk about. Right, right. Okay, so what I'm saying to you, Chris, is that your boss... Look, if you... Are you independent of your boss? Yes. Of your, of your master, of Jesus? You're independent. I'm, of not, Jesus. I'm not literally Jesus. No. 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 Are you independent? Are you independent of Him? Am I independent? Do you, do you not follow right, Him? Right. So I am dependent on Him for my salvation. I am dependent on Him for many things. But in terms of how I act and behave, look, it is look, me that, look, who is acting and behaving. Look. Look. Yeah. As a, as a follower, mm. you cannot. You cannot. You have to. You, 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 you can only follow your your master. Yeah. In principle, based off what he does and what he says. If he says to love my enemy, then that is a principle that applies in many different ways. I married, I married a ten, I, I married a ten-year-old girl, right. and Jesus saw me, right. and he didn't say anything. Right. Why would you? Si no, no, no. You're now assuming that silence is an omission of support. Ye no, that's a false argument. But that's a logical fallacy. You can't say can that because someone is silent on but something. But you can't say to me. You can't are, say to me this is against it. Jesus. You can't say that to me. But what I am saying is because Jesus taught us way. Right, right, right. He taught us that what? a 12-year-old is a little girl in his view, and he also taught us to love those and not to do anything his, that would cause them job. harm. Do, Having said to an God? underage, is he God? Is Jesus God? Why, why are you jumping topic? Yes, okay. you know you know I'm going to say okay. yes. To he's that. God. Okay. Why are you okay. jumping topic? Even if he wasn't God, he's the messenger of God. 
Yeah. He's a prophet, right? He is both he's God and the prophet. Okay. Yes. Do you even if he's not God, I'm saying even even if right, he's not right, God, right. he's someone who speaks with authority yes. from God. Yes, he okay. is divine himself. So he, so he has the authority. The authority. authority. He has the authority. Yes, absolutely. To say this is right, this is wrong. Right. Yes. Okay. He saw something. He didn't say anything about it. Is he doing okay. his job? Why are you trying to get me into hypothetical situations? Why is he not situation? using listen, his listen, authority? Listen, listen, listen. Because I need to know. I need to know. Listen, marrying listen, listen, a ten-year-old girl, listen, wrong listen, or not listen. wrong? I, okay, let me wrong, 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 wrong but very you, wrong. Let me explain. Who tell me? Who wait, tell wait, 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 wait. Not you. Listen, listen, listen. You, listen. you have to listen to what I say. Listen to what I say. I have not explicitly said in this conversation that I think stealing is wrong. Does that mean that I support sorry, stealing? Sorry, sorry. I have not said in this conversation at any point that I think stealing is wrong. Does that mean, therefore, no, because my, my silence listen, listen. Is, is in a form of admission that no, I think stealing is actually out. good? Stay out of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him listen, listen, talk, listen. Talk. The Gospels, it, for example, in the end of John's Gospel, it clearly says there were many other things that could have been written, but were not written, yeah, in John's Gospel. That means that, for all we know, that Jesus could have explicitly said that very statement my that you are friend, looking for. Friend, However, friend, we can derive from look, principle, and we can derive from look. Mark chapter 5, verse 41 going onwards, that Jesus thought a girl who is said to be the age of 12 is a little girl. He did not say a woman. Okay, he said my, a little my, girl. Do you know, do you know, your problems in Christianity is that nothing is clear. No, they, I think that's There's very no clear. Guidance, no guidance. We have principles. Okay, I want to marry yeah. a little girl. Is it allowed? Is it not allowed? Well, in the Quran, it tells you you can. No, forget the Quran. <laughs> forget the Quran. Come I on, want maybe. to know Christianity. Yeah. Right, right. Is it allowed? Is it, is it not allowed? Is it, you have to tell me. Right, you I have, have already. Okay, 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 okay. Let me explain. So, from Jesus' behavior, no he clearly guidance. thought. Okay. Right, okay. So, let's, Old Testament, let's okay. go to the Old Testament okay. then. Let's, Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 6 clearly gives an analogy of what it means to be a woman. And it talks about having visibly grown breasts and pubic hair. It clearly gives a visual understanding of what it means to have achieved womanhood. Okay, that good. would exclude very girls good. at the age of very nine good. years old. Do you know what right. you're doing now? What, what you're legislating. No, I'm giving principles. You, you, That's an yeah, analogy. You're giving principles. That's not a law. You, you're giving morality here. You're giving morality mm -hmm. of right and wrong. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus say it was wrong? He doesn't want to answer this. Well, wait, wait, wait. Want to answer. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. Jesus is not providing a legalistic framework, he is rather fulfilling the law and giving principles of which to live your life by. Do you understand? Is it clear principles? Yeah, clear principles, yeah, like to silence, love your enemy. Is silence clear? No. What, why do you think silence... If I don't say something, how do you know what I think about it? Exactly, I don't know. You have to tell me. You have to tell me. <laughs> Jesus said that you were to love others. If Jesus I also you, said that a 12 year old is a little look, girl. Look, if, I, if, I, if I say to Jesus, if Jesus was here Jesus today, made it clear that young girls at the age of 12 were not us, considered to be us, women. Us, Mark chapter 5, verse us, 41. Get it out, show us. Mark read chapter it. 5, verse 41. Read it. I, I already read it with Sayyid. He took her by the hand and he said, uh, Talitha Kum, which means little girl. No, I say no, to you, no, get up, no, no. little girl. No, no, no. I checked the Greek by and the, the Greek way, lexicon. The way, no, no, the Greek no, lexicon you. makes it clear that that Make can also off. refer to a child. Okay, that is off. not the word you would use if you're referring to a fully grown okay, woman. Let's move to another question. How am I making that up? Let's move to I literally just read it to you. I have another question for you. Okay. Well, do you concede now that there is no basis in either the Old Testament or the New Testament to think you can have sex with a baby? You are in, in a lot of trouble. Right. You're in deep water. Right. You have yet to make an affirmative case for what you think the Old Testament or the New Testament Look, shows. I you want need you to, to show, show me a positive case. I want you to show everybody right. that yeah. you have a religion that right. has guidance. We have our guidance, guidance through the example and the teachings of you Jesus Christ. You don't have guidance in Christianity. No guidance, my friend. Of course we do. The Christians live by it okay. every day. If you walk on the street mm. and you see a young man beating up an old lady, what okay. would you do? I will intercede. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus, Jesus said to love others. Jesus said to love others. Where is the guy? And is Jesus a pacifist? No, because he shows in John chapter 2, verse 15 did, onwards did he say, that he himself is not above I'll, using okay, a whip I'll, to get other people it, out of the okay, temple. I'll give you an example. I'll make it easier for you. So, no, I've just proven it to you. In Islam, you, there is complete guidance for everything. In, wait, 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 you just told me Let Islam me is a clear okay, guide let, for today. Yes, yes. I want to challenge that point. Yeah. Is Islam a clear guide for today? Challenge it after I say it. Well, you just said it. I want to challenge you based on what you just said. You said Islam is a clear guide for today. Okay, explain why Islam is a clear yes, guide yes, today. Yes, yes, yes. If Islam said to me, if you walk on the street and you see a young man beating up an old lady, mm -hmm. stop him. Mm -hmm. Islam also says if you see a Christian walking across the street, you ought to force him into the narrow of the road, if I remember right. 
So, <laughs> is that still applicable? Based you on want your hadith. Is that true? Is that true? Let's not change the topic. No, you said because. Islam is the guidance. Uh, that, that is also guidance. You still record it. Make sure you still record this. <laughs> Islam I to says you, no you think problem. Islam is the guidance I, look, for. I, I yeah. have no problem. You have no problem with treating Christians poorly. Once. Do you want to have a conversation? Yeah, but ask, answer, answer. Please, please. Do you want to, do you want answer to what I've asked you. Yes, yeah, ask. Don't, don't you use everything I, I, I say against Then be very careful with what let's, you say. No, no, no. Be Chris, careful with what you say. I, I am being careful. Okay, being so careful. you said that you think that Islam is a guidance for people today, yes? I was talking about something. Can yeah. I, to, can I okay, say... Okay, finish can that. I, finish that chain of thought. Islam is a guidance for today. Finish yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. It is. Yeah. Okay, so that includes verses in the hadith that talk about how if you see a Christian across the road, you ought to push him into the narrow of the road. So we leave that topic now. We talk about... Wait, what? Wait, what? You just said that Islam is a guidance for all uh, look, uh, humanity I'll go with today. You. I'll, go. I, I, I'll go with you. Right, so it is or it isn't? I'll go with you. i let you decide what we talk about, but don't keep jumping. You out. mentioned this. Don't keep jumping. You mentioned it, not me. Now. You, not me. I never mentioned that. Guidance. That was the original topic, look, and I gave look, you an example from Mark chapter five forty one and from topic, Ezekiel sixteen listen, verse six. Listen, when you when you mention a topic, stay on it, all right? Yeah, but you were the one who deviated. You said no, no, Islam no, no. is a guidance I'm, I'm, for everyone. I'm not deviating. <laughs> okay, okay what, take that back. What then. do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, what you just said, Islam is a guidance for all of mankind. Yeah, you said that. But that's not what I what I was. Then why did you bring it up? Uh, if you give me a chance, I'll let you know. Okay, tell me then. Tell me how Islam is a guidance for life. Go on. Who tells you to, to intervene to defend an old lady? On we the follow the principles and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Amen. Did he say this? He taught us to love others, to love our enemies, and he also taught us that pacifism is not the correct view. From that, we can create a framework from those principles that adheres loyally to them but and he, honorably to them that about how but he no, already, he wasn't. John chapter, he already, John chapter 2, two verse Chris, 15 Chris, refutes that idea. Chris, yeah. Jesus, Jesus already mm. gave you clear guidance on this topic. When, when, when someone came with a sword to defend mm. him, mm. Jesus said to him, put the sword away. Right, yeah. Those who live by the sword don't will die by the sword. So he was saying, don't defend me, right? right yeah, and why don't is that? Why, why did he say that? Okay. He said, don't defend Why me. Why did he say it? Look, for you as a Christian, he won't answer. if you don't... He won't answer. Come on, tell me, tell me. I'll Why answer, did he say I'll it? You've you made but a claim. I'm asking you to explain. Please, please don't, don't cut me. Cut me yeah, out. but you're jumping. You're jumping. No, I'm not jumping. You just I'm said talking Je about the You same. just said, Jesus said, yeah, don't defend me, right? Why did he say it? Look, he doesn't want me to say what I want to say because he knows what I'm going to say. Just, just tell me. You have to... Look, you, you have you have to let people speak. Yes, I'm finish, yes, I'm finish. finish. Yeah, okay. You have to let me okay. finish. You said Jesus, yeah, told Chris, people not to defend Chris, him. Yeah, that's what you let, just said. You have to let me finish. Okay, so tell me why. Why don't, did he say it? I tell you, don't interrupt me. Okay, all right, all right. In that case, then, I'll let you talk about what you want. I just want everyone to remember. I asked him this, and I have a feeling he's not going to give us an answer. Ah, okay, this way, this way. If Jesus said to you, don't defend me, mm -hmm. Why would you defend someone who's less important? Right. Notice that question. A great question. But in order to answer that question, he has to actually tell me why Jesus said that to begin with. So you should have just answered my question. Jesus said to we you, would have been able to give I him a better you answer. Yes, I tell you why okay, he said tell that. me then. Tell me then. Because right. his way, his way is not to interfere any way at all. No, that's not why he said it. At that's all. You think it. If you see right. if you see an old lady being okay, okay. killed you, on the street, right. don't do anything. You think that's what he meant? Okay. Yeah, that's so that's did Jesus opinion. explicitly say that? Wait, by your own reasoning, you falter but because you say, because yes, Jesus yes, doesn't yes, say that you yes, shouldn't. He said that. Yes, he said Jesus that. said that. Yes, that's what he, he show meant. Me where, show me that's where. what he meant. Show me no, where. Show me where in the Bible. Because no, show he me said, where. don't use violence at all. Did he? Show me that in the Bible. At all. Show me that in the Bible. Don't. Give Look, me any verse, any if verse. You, if you are not in Christianity, mm. if you are not al allowed to defend the most important thing, who is Jesus, mm -hmm. then that means you don't defend right, anything okay. else. Let me say. What he is failing to understand is the reason why Jesus oh, came. His, his mission was to redeem all of humanity, knowing full well that he He's would die on the, the cross. So he did it of a choice. They can't answer Therefore, when point, people tried to defend him, he said, no, don't do that, because my mission is to go and to go through this uh, crucifixion. That is why he said, do not intervene and do not defend me. But he cannot acknowledge this, because if he acknowledges it, it destroys his argument. Chris, I talk to Christians who say if they see somebody an old lady being murdered on the street, they wouldn't do anything. Well, they're very, very disturbed people. Okay, let's go back to the <laughs> that is not the principle. They said this is what 
this is what they understood Jesus saying. Because Jesus said, don't use it. Do you want to talk about Islam as a guidance for humanity today? Do you want to talk about that? Okay, okay. How can Islam be a guidance for humanity today when the understandings of what we uh, Muslims are meant to do, like for example, you are taught how to go to the toilet in Islam. Yeah, yeah, yes? Yeah. You are to use stones and you are taught how many stones to use. How is that relevant today? <laughs> how can anyone, <laughs> hygiene, can anyone tell hygiene, me how... Hygiene, now, hygiene, now this is why Christianity uh, is hygiene, superior as a religion. <laughs> because Christianity gives you a principle, yeah. it not doesn't give you legalistic law Islam, like how to go to look, the bathroom. Islam tells you... That is not a Chris, good religion. Okay, Islam, yeah. In England, to in England... Stones. My friend, well, in England, I mean, I guess maybe, yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. In England, mm. you guys no use you. you let, uh, one second, please. No, we didn't need to be told as a matter of law. <laughs> Come on. Like, it was common sense. It, it was a bit. Yeah, it was a bit. We, we didn't need legalistics. Yeah, yeah. In England, you used yeah. to have a shower yeah. only on Christmas. Okay. What? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Islam tell you to have a shower every week. Oh, great. At least yeah, once a week. <laughs> Come on, at least, at least once a week. It keeps you clean right, and right. healthy. So not every day. Listen, listen, listen. My point is, listen. My point is, is that you can clearly understand how there are better, better things to apply. Is it better to shower two or three times a week as opposed to one time a week? Christianity, Come on, answer Christianity that. You, you know, doesn't tell you how to clean yourself. Because we don't need to be told. We know we, we can adapt in our world, and that is why Christianity is relevant for today. We are not a legalistic religion. We are a religion that adheres to the, the principle and the teachings of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Okay, today I ask you all the questions I have for you today. So... Do you want to leave it there? Do you have anything you want to say? Anything you want to ask? Well, I'm happy to talk about Islam yeah, okay, as a guidance for man. Uh, sorry? Well, I'm happy to keep talking about Islam as a guidance for humanity. Because I, I really think that's clearly not the case. As a guidance. Is it? Yeah, yeah complete yeah. guidance. Yeah. To explain okay. to you, you mentioned... Hadith. Hadith. About Jews and Christians pushing the narrow oh, that's very good. Do you want to talk good. about that? Do you, do you know about this, this Hadith? That. That's very good one. That's okay, talk good. about it. Talk yeah, about yeah. it. I'm happy to talk about that. Listen. Go on then. Go on. All right. Very much willing to listen. You you deal if you are walking on the street. Okay. Yeah. And somebody on the who hates you and your religion. Okay. Is coming the other way. Right. The hadith say don't right. make way for him. Okay. Okay. But if a nice person, one second, All a right. good nice person, yep. doesn't matter Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Hindu, yep. atheist, doesn't matter if he's a good person who have no problem with you and your religion, mm. make way for okay. him. Does the hadith say that? Yes. No, it doesn't. No, absolutely it doesn't. The hadith makes it clear that if you go past a Christian, I think it's either a Christian or a Jew, you are to push them to the side of the road. Yes, it does. Absolutely does. Shall I find it? It isn't going to go well for you if I find this. The hadith is talking about uh, hostile people. No. No, no, uh, wait, wait, wait. Haters, let, haters. let me give you an example. The, wait, 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 let me, let me finish this, let me finish this. Okay, Let's, okay, you, you, okay. Yeah? No, listen, listen, listen. Thick Islamic schools of jurisprudence understand this, this hadith today as an understanding that Muslims should never be made um, sub, subordinate to Christians or Jews. That's how it's understood today. Okay. Do you understand last, that? Last week you agreed with me mm. that Islam, Quran said there are good Jews and good, good Christians and bad Christians. In the early parts of the Quran, yes. Yes. They're In the later parts of the Quran, such as not uh, generally, Surah 9, generally, Ayah 29, generally, it gives command to kill them. Because there are, In the early parts of the Quran, friend, it does. Yeah. My friend, mm. there are if, until today there are some good Jew Christians and bad Christians. Right. right? There's good everybody. Yeah. There's good and bad everybody. Yeah. So good Christians, you have to treat them good. Okay. Well. Well, the Quran doesn't say that. The no, Quran, says, no, no, says, no, 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 no. Quran Surah 9, Ayah 29 says you are to fight the Christians and Jews until they either re they repent and accept uh, Allah on the last day or they pay the jizya. That, and that was one of the last surahs that was revealed to Muhammad. Okay, so why did the, the, why did the caliphate, the early caliphate, go out and conquer all of uh, the Middle East? Why? It conquered Saudi Arabia, conquered the Middle East, conquered North Africa, conquered Spain and called it out, uh, converted it to a Muslim area. Why did it do that? It did that in literally like decades. To bring peace. To bring peace. So they conquered all of Jew Jewish and Christian lands to bring peace. To bring peace. And then he made the Christians and Jews either convert into Islam or pay jizya. No, 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 no. Islam doesn't say force them. It does. They want to stay. Okay, all right, let's get the verse. 
you see, look, look, no compulsion in religion. You forgot it, that. It did say that, but that was an earlier thing and was abrogated. No, no, no. Scholars today no believe that that verse is abrogated. No they believe that 929 is the outstanding no. one. No compulsion in religion. So Allah, Allah said to yep. the Prophet in the Quran, mm -hmm. don't force anybody. If God wants anybody to be the same, mm -hmm. He would have made them the same. Then why did He say in Surah 929 to fight those who do not believe? Let's read it. This is our Tauba. Okay, let's finish with this. Okay, go ahead. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. So therefore it's justified. No, Muslims to this long before Christians were ever on the homeland. Well, the Crusades were a defensive war because Islam had taken over so much of the of the North Africa, of Spain, they were invading France, they had attacked Byzantium, they had conquered massive lands from Byzantium. Yeah. أيوة لما تشوفه في الطريق خليه يمشي في الجهة الضيقة يعني. Force force them to the narrow side of the road. Let me just get this verse up. Don't film them. Film film me on Chris. There is there is a Jewish neighbor. Right. Can I just read this? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'll listen to you. But can I just read this because it's important to him? Listen. This is Surah nine, ayah twenty nine. Fight those who do not believe in Allah on the last day, or comply with what Allah and His Messenger have forbidden, nor embrace the religion of truth from among, among those who were given the scripture, until they pay the tax willingly, submitting fully humbled. Now, that's a Sahih International version. In the actual Arabic, it doesn't, doesn't use nice words like humbled, it uses the words like submitted or humiliated, I believe. Notice that this is about paying your dues. No, it's about fighting those who do not it's believe about in the No, 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 no. Until they pay the jizya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they pay the jizya, don't fight them. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So it's about the jizya, right? Well, it's either. It's either you fight them because okay. they are let, not let, believing okay. in Allah, let, let, and either they submit let, to let's Allah, talk about or they pay the jizya. Okay, okay let's, yeah. me, I'm a Muslim, you're a Christian. Yeah. Okay, I tell you, pay, I come to you, I say to you, pay the jizya. Mm -hmm. you, you said no, I fight you until you pay. Okay. But if you fight, if you pay, yeah. I leave you. Why I don't fight you because you're Christian? Why I don't? Why I leave? Because I paid the tax. Because I'm, I'm not, effectively paying bribe I'm, money to not be attacked. Let's establish the reason for the fighting. Let's establish the yeah, reason. Yeah, to submit to Allah. Made it clear in the verse. Okay, you paid the jizya. Why? Why should wait, I? Wait, wait. I should no, no, continue. No, no. The verse says, if I, I pay jizya, so, then you are not commanded to fight me. Yeah. Ah. And that happened. Yeah. That, so you okay, agree with yeah. me now? Well, if that's what you're saying, yeah. So I'm not if you're saying you, If you're saying that you don't you have to fight the me Jizya, if I, I give go. you money, sure. If you sure. pay the jizya, I go. I yeah, leave yeah, you yeah. to your religion. Yeah. But so it's not about your religion. See, we have a word for what that's called. Yeah, that's called intimidation. No, no, it's not if I If I said to you, look, 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 I'm going to fight you. But if you give me money, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Listen, listen. That's called intimidation. Listen. What happened to you if you don't pay tax so, he got wait, 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 there's a difference, yeah, yeah, there's a difference between a state having the right to tax people well, and a religion a having the right to... No, no, Islam is a state also. Well, Islam is trying to, always, yeah, it's always trying to form yeah, yeah. a caliph, yeah. Do you know what but happened? It, it is a religion you know that is what discriminating happened? based on religiousness, you know what happened to the not Muslim? based on who lives Do you know anywhere. what happened to the Muslims who refused to pay their dues? Yeah, very bad things. Yeah, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they didn't pay uh, zakat. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, they yeah. got killed. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what, what I'm the, saying, though, is you're saying to the Christians the and Jews, of, uh, pay effectively... Uh, uh, the, the apostasy wars. Do yeah, you know yeah, what, what this is all about? Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. about It's about, it's about cats. Yeah, whether zakat, zakat is obli uh, obligatory Look, or whether though, it's just in the time Allah, of Muhammad. Yeah, even yeah, yeah. though Allah said, fight the Jews and Christians, mm. but this didn't happen, really. No Jews, no Jewish and Christian were so, killed. So, so Muslims went Muslims all the way from Saudi killed. Arabia to the Middle East, to North Africa, to Spain, to France, and they just did it peacefully. They just casually walked across, <laughs> like, hi guys. No, of course not. They used the swords. There are more Muslims who were killed because they didn't pay the zakah than Jews right. and Christians. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I completely agree with that. I get, yeah, so Muslims, it's about Muslims paying were killed. Your yeah, but you're saying that as a Christian, my Jew is to pay a tax the specifically state, to humiliate me the Muslim or, state, to, sum, or look, to have look, me submit. As long as you pay your dues, on, the Muslim sorry, the Muslim state doesn't care if you're Muslim Christian. Just pay your dues. Yes, but if I'm a we Christian, I have to pay a special they don't tax care. which is here, if which I, is designed to, I'm a Muslim, to humble me. If I don't pay, they kill me. Yeah, 
If I don't pay, they'll kill me. So, so, so it's about you. <laughs> but then. this is a specific tax okay. that is only on me. It's not on you. Okay, very good. Sorry, Thank you very much. All right, I say. We'll talk to you again later. All right. All right. All right. Talk to you again later. Thank you very much. All right, just had a chat with Saeed. Uh, we talked about a few things. We talked about the the understanding in Islam that you can have sex with prepubescent girls. That's Al Talak, so, uh, 65 IL4, where it says that you can have sex with underage girls because they have not yet uh, menstruated. We also talked about the equivalent in Christianity, and he is clearly wrong. There is no equivalent in Christianity whatsoever. Jesus made it clear through principles we are to love all. He made it clear in Mark chapter 5, verse 31 onwards, that a 12-year-old that Jesus raised from the dead was considered to be a little girl, not a woman, as Islam wants us to believe. We also find Old Testament support in Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 6, where it gives an analogy about what a woman is, and it talks about the fullness of her breasts as well as pubic hair. Clear demonstrations of having reached and completed puberty. Then we talked about, uh, what did we talk about then? Oh, we talked about uh, violence. We talked about how in Islam, violence is something that is permissible. In Christianity, we are not permitted to use violence in, to uh, spread our religion. Rather, we do so by our preaching, by our ministry, by the good works that we do, and by telling people about the gospel. Uh, God bless.